As a language learner, I really want to see how a certain word or phrase is produced by different people in real life contexts. I am also particularly interested in learning how it is pronounced in the American accent as well. So here is how I search for that. I go to youglish.com. I only need to type a word. Press enter and you get a video where someone is saying that word. The video will automatically start from the relevant sentence. So there is no need to look for the right place. Let's start with a simple example. I'm interested in how to pronounce photography. I type the word in the search tab and click enter. Or I can either click say it. And as you can see here, I've got this many speech samples containing that word. I will play one for you to see. Her love of photography propelled her to the most remote regions of the earth. I can control the video here by either playing it, pausing it, replaying it, or going back by five seconds. Also, if I want to see more examples of the verb being pronounced in other contexts, I can also simply click the big arrow button to go to the next video result. I hope that my daughter has an interest in photography. So, this is a really nice interface for browsing examples of real life speech. It's really cool. And if I want to save the examples or the search results for my record, I can also save them by clicking on this save button here. And it will ask me to sign in or create a new account on this website. Yuglish also allows users to search any kind of utterances to check their pronunciation in addition to single words like photography. You can also search a phrase such as for here or to go. Uh, you want those for here or to go. Hey. Or even a sentence such as I'd appreciate it. How to answer my students. So if you can, if you folks can help me out, I'd appreciate it. Additionally, users can use hashtags to look for a word in a certain context. For example, if I am interested in looking for the word Iowa in the education context, I type Iowa hashtag education. In this case, the target word is the one before the hashtag, and the video context to listen to the target word in is the one after the hashtag. Region, both Minnesota, the parts of the Dakotas, and Iowa. Finally, you can also narrow down your search by word class, such as noun, verb, adverb, and adjective. To do this, you just need to type the target word and put a colon. Then, type V for verb, N for noun, A for adjective, and AD for adverb. Let's see how the word fast is used as an adverb and adjective in different contexts. Here, I type fast, colon, AD, then click Say It. And as you can see, the word class is shown in parentheses here. Let's play a sample video. Loud, as fast as you can, starting with 996. Go. Now, I'm going to look for fast as adjective. I type fast, colon, A. Now the word class has changed to adjective. Let's play another video. These brainy primates were not particularly fast or strong. As you can see, this free, user-friendly website is rich in content and has great potential for aiding pronunciation improvement. We hope that you can make use of this website for both learning and teaching purposes in your context.